Greetings everyone and welcome back to Avon Colony. We are on the last but one map. Uh, that is of the campaign. There are sandbox maps as well. I believe I have uh, mentioned some of these. There are even some, I believe, specific maps that are only available here. Um, Serpent Isle, for example. But it is to Valley of Death we shall be going today. And of course, on hard difficulty. A group of your former colonists somehow learned about the ancient cult that cursed the civilization that once lived on Avon Prime. And they've adopted the cult themselves. These delusional rebels have turned feral, and they are apparently attempting to locate an alien named the Setadari. Our reports have made clear that the Zealots are gathering their forces in the desert areas around the so-called Valley of Death. You'll need to set up a colony in the valley and then destroy all the Zealot groups in the surrounding area. Very well. This is quite, quite worrisome. We have to kill our own colonists in order to prevent them from worshipping an alien who may also be pulling the strings behind the uh, behind the curtains. I'm a little bit concerned. Welcome to your new colony. Commissioner Veronica is eager to see how you can grow this small settlement on Avon Prime. Okay. What is your first objective? 100 buildings. There's another mission like that. Oh, dear. All right then. Uh, Rightio. A bit of an interesting map. Uh, okay, so we've got some areas. Can we actually go? No, we can't go up. So that's going to be somewhere for industrial, I guess, since there's nothing to grow there. Same down there. In fact, let's uh, pause the game while we have a quick look around. It looks like all of our growing is going to be along here. Not much in the way of power, mind you. One, oh, actually, I take it back. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's loads of power. And there's actually quite a lot of Zorium here, too. But not much in the way of um, arable land. Water is going to be a premium here, it looks like. A premium. All right. Uh, what about food? Uh, okay, so barley. Eh, it's all right. Broccoli. Yeah, likewise. Pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Corn, okay. Melons, yeah. Quinoa. Ah, quinoa. Thank you. Thank you, quinoa. Old reliable, except when you're not. And rice. All right. Uh, what about the other types of food? Wheat grows pretty much anywhere. Antari does quite well. Chalco does quite well. Groji quite well. Quarry. As you know, Sage, it looks like all of the native species do reasonably well. And that's something that I like to see. Uh, it seems remarkably odd when that isn't the case. But the very first thing we're going to do... Um, that would cost me 10 nanites now. We can live without. For 10 nanites, we'll go without. We need to hook up a few things. Let's get all of this going. And immediately build a geotherm. And an iron mine followed with a nanite fabrication. Uh, we've got some more iron there. We've got some more iron there. We've got a fair chunk of iron actually lying around. We've also got a bunch of potash and 19 nanites. So let's uh, get out there and pick that up straight away. Can we get this one? Not quite. But we will be getting it as we expand in that direction. Now we've got a decent little area by here. And also a, a fairly good uh, point for hooking up. But if we expand in this direction, we'll get everything that we would have gotten by going in this direction, plus an extra node of Zorium, and we'll also be able to grab that along the way. So I think we're going to be expanding in this direction to start with. Okay, so we've got our plans laid out. Now, this is probably going to be a bit of a rough one, because I'm noticing we've not got that much space. It's, it's going to be hard. It's, it's definitely going to be one of the harder missions. Um, the ones where you have limited growing capability are always difficult. And we've got to grow a hundred. A hundred buildings. Oh, it's going to be difficult. Oh, well. Just going to have to make do, I suppose. Um, now, we could go for the extremely uh, potent air filters. And I think that would be wise right there. Um... I'd like it if we had a single, just one of these, like built out a little ways and then have the decontaminator right there. So there's only one single path that this can take. Um, 
And I think that that would be ideal, honestly. But if I want to, I do kind of want to get up there for the Zorium eventually. So maybe something like this. Build off a little bit. We'll have a single air intake fan. And this is only there to make life extremely easy for us early on. Then we'll pop you right there so that you grab everything as it's trying to get out. There we go. It's expensive, an expensive setup early on, but uh, should be okay. Especially once uh, once we get going. Because that's going to mean that plague spores are not something we need to worry about for now. And this can now be recycled, so let's get rid of that. There we go. All right. So, we've got some power. We've got uh, some nanites coming in. We just need uh, a little bit of food. That's the next thing. We need food and water. Right. We can't expand any further out in that direction. I'm going to say go for a... No, we need to reserve our uh, economy here. So, we'll get a level one. Uh, this will cause a little bit of of air issues there what we can do to resolve that is plonk down um, yeah I, I fancy putting down extra like level one air filters should be good enough to handle the problem for us we'll let that get built though and then start building out a little bit uh, we want a level one air filter here as well it's costly we're already down to uh, 56 not liking that at all. Let's get a we habitat there as well. But that's going to give us access to this area. Not all the way into it, you understand, but uh, a good ways in there. Uh, let's go grab the water and the nanites. Fantastic. We need to keep picking these up. And now, another thing that might be useful, and you know what? As much as I complain about the uh, ex uh, expedition center, maybe if we get an early one of those, it'll help us out because there are item stash opportunities with those places. Now, it's going to take us a while to get that built out over there, so let's uh, go up to the maximum speed and just let time tick through. Let's see. How are you doing generally? Uh, you know, not too terribly bad. But we are going to need to uh, get a immigration center up and running right now frankly we need this sooner rather than later so let's go ahead and plonk this one down right about there right in the middle there that your colony is undergoing a hydration oh, i know process. i know i'm, I'm I building toward it additional water supplies Hish, do you haste. shush they do nag it's only a little bit of dehydration we're gonna be fine gonna be fine All right let's get that on up nice and high there we go cargo right there we are uh all right now then what we desperately 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 need is a little bit of water now where is the best water area 70 percent. have we got anything better than this not really we've got 180 over there but it's not um it's quite quite far out so getting that will be more than enough for now now this area is going to need a second stage drone hub, I'm going to say. I think that would be wise. So let's get that going. We're almost certainly going to want another um, area for nanites. Uh, sorry, uh, nanites. I'm thinking that they cost so much nanites, but for uh, an air filter somewhere over here. That should be good. Now have you got, no, you haven't quite got a full population, but that's all right for now. I am going to need a drone hub, but that's going to have to wait, unfortunately. We need to get water, and then we need to get greenhouses, because we are really low. Super, super low. In fact, let's go ahead and upgrade that one. Let's get you on highest priority. Um, this one could just be on high. I know it means that we're going to grow a little bit slower, but uh, only by a small amount. All right, there we go. We should be doing okay. There we are. That's what we needed to see. Now then, we're going to expand this out a little ways. Can we grab this one? Ah, oh, we can. Fantastic. 84 nanites there as well. That's particularly nice. Okay. Now then, let's have a look. What can we grow? We're going to need 22 nanites, but that shouldn't be too lot far away. So let's uh, get up to 22 nanites. There we are. A greenhouse, but what will we grow? Uh, looks like quinoa is going to be it. 
We grow it there, we'll get 6.8, 6.5. We can get 7 if we grow there, really. That surprised me a little bit. That does actually surprise me just a tad. But okay, if that's the best place for it, then we'll get the greenhouse right there. Let's get you going. And we are. With this, it should help us out a little bit. We're going to want this one to be upgraded again straight away. We're also going to want these to get the priority on our workforce. So let's get you set up shortly. There we go. So priority there. And let's immediately upgrade. And allow this building to use potash for a 40% bonus. We've got a little bit in reserve. Now with that done, um, there's a couple of things I'd like to do. I would definitely like to get a uh, transport set up over here. Uh, let's pop this one down right about there. That should be good. This will allow us to have a central hub for our population uh, just over here. How are we doing with... Yeah, 91% of the housing has been filled. That is a shame. Uh, however, we can go ahead and plonk this one down. Um, somewhere around here, perhaps. Sure, let's let's pop this one down there and then build a road to it. And that way we've got a little little space here for something else. Now, what something else we're going to put there? I think a bar and grill. It should uh, immediately start to improve the, the situation here. Actually, perhaps we should go for a... Well... No, we'll, we'll get a bigger boost to entertainment out of the uh, the bar. But we do want a bistro reasonably, reasonably soon. Reasonably soon. And perhaps we can have the bistro, sure, right by there. That shouldn't be a big issue. Right, uh, cargo pod acquired. Very nice indeed. Now, we could make a beeline out for the various cargo pods, and that wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. However, we do want more... More iron coming in for our uh, mines. Let's run a line up there. Now that's, we can't go any further because we've run out of nanites rather than uh, not having the, um, the build area for it. That being said, no, no, we can actually cover it all. Marvelous, actually. You know what, then in that case, I think we'll take it all the way up there and then all the way across there and we'll get another hover car station somewhere around here we'll pop down uh, a little a little stop as well just to help out a tiny tiny bit but let's have a look at the commute right now we shouldn't be seeing much residents uh work all over the place at the moment you're actually working over there mm, not liking that the commute is probably a little bit much yeah there is there is a fair chunk of commute here all right that's uh, unfortunate, but we'll we'll have a look into that. That's a high commute. Perhaps just to help that out just a little bit, we should go ahead and build a little outpost over here. But we are going to want an air filter here as well. Uh, definitely. In fact, ooh, storage is full. Okay. Following was added to your colony's inventory as a reward for completing the grow of the colony. Ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, 11 nanites and 34 rice. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I don't think we had enough room. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's wait on the 26 nanites since we're right there. There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll start building these out just back here. Since there's an air filter right there, it'll help out a little Here's bit. Your next population growth target. 36 barley, that won't be too bad. Now, I'm not happy with our food right now. We do need more food. We're bringing in a chunk because we are currently um, using potash. But that's not going to last for a long time. We've got a lot of things that I need to build. Getting the iron mine would be grand, but is not necessarily the most important part for us right now. I do want to make sure that power has got a, a high priority. Uh, these are automated, so we don't need to worry too much about those. But, uh, mm, yeah, there's a couple of things that we're going to need to, to worry about. Living space, we've got enough now that we don't need to worry for a little while. With each new, uh, with each new uh, visit of the passenger shuttle we should get a little bit closer to having a well running colony okay it's, it's getting a little bit better but it's still particularly uh, not particularly varied we need 22 nanites for an extra greenhouse i think we're actually going to go for the the outpost first though 
Yeah, I, I think that would be the, the wiser move there. And uh, then with remaining, we'll get a little bit closer to this mine up there. How are we doing down there? Yeah, we're, we're, we're processing them much faster than we're gaining. So it makes sense to go for the mine next. Um, just so that we can start m making full use of this structure. Since we're staffing it, we might as well get the, the most out of it. But that should have removed the commute penalty now. Yeah, we've got no commute penalty across the entire colony. And that is a very, very nice place to be. The air quality over here is going to be going down, though. Got a lot of things that are negatively impacting it. Uh, that's improving the air quality quite a lot. Yeah, the air quality is actually generally fairly good around there. Uh, an air filter around here, though, is going to be necessary. I'm thinking having... Got a lot of buildings that are negatively impacting it here. Perhaps having the air filter somewhere around there. Or I could actually have it here, since we are getting a drop in quality due to this. Uh, we'll have to see on that one, though. It'll take us a little bit to get there. But the mine is up next, so let's get you going. And as far as these go, it's extremely expensive to do. How much do these cost? It's 10 nanites and requires 6 power, versus... This requires 6 power, 10 nanites. This requires 12 power and 26 nanites. Has a bigger impact. That being said, though... Hmm. That being said, we could just prevent the... Uh, the issue by having something like that right above there and then having a decontaminator here. We should actually be able to prevent... A lot of the issues with that. Hmm. I hadn't really considered that one. But it might actually be better to just have a couple of these dotted around. And then just clean them up. Automatically. I like that idea, actually. Let's find the best place for it, though. I think the best place would be right there. Since that's going to cause the contaminants to come out through here. And we can have the decontamination unit right there. And that should be good. Uh, we do need to get the geotherm up and running fairly soon. Now, the only issue with having this here is if anything were to be built on this side, then the contaminants will be able to escape down there. I'm not directly decontaminating the building itself. I'm decontaminating the area it will try to escape through. And it's not the best, but it should work, I'm hoping. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we do need this set up. Well, there we are. And that's going to protect us from some of the uh, potential issues with um, toxic air coming through there. Now, uh, we'll have enough power by the time that this gets built. So, let's have a look. I think broccoli. Broccoli would be fairly good, but it's, we're not going to find a decent place to put it, unfortunately. Well, we've got melons. New rice. New mm, barley isn't too bad. You can get five barley. Hmm. Sure, all right. We'll go for barley just to uh, just to to change it up a little bit. Let's make sure we've got a decent amount. Geothermal is not acquiring workers. Ah, that's because that has yet to be built. Uh, could someone perhaps, maybe I don't know, go over there and uh, build that for me? That'd be grand. I'll be honest. I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, that being said, though, perhaps we need another passenger car around here. I'm thinking that would probably be quite useful. Let's get all these done. Would, would someone... Yes? No? Hi? Can we... No? Hmm. Is that perhaps just not visible to my drones? That was particularly odd. I must confess, that was, that was very peculiar. But okay. Uh, we'll have this about there, I think. Um... Yeah, that'll do. And we'll also have a little outpost there as well. Just to help out a little bit here and there, hither and yon. There we go. Down here, though, there's going to be a lot of pollutants down here. I think this place does need an air filter. So let's go ahead and get that one sorted right away. Pop an air filter down there and then sort out this whole area a little bit. Now, let's have a look at commute. Commute is fantastic. Let's actually see who's going where. Okay, we actually got a fair number of people moving around. Not too bad, I must say. Right now, though, we don't have much in the way of um, 
protections for our for our people. We don't even have any kind of lightning protection yet, and we don't have any potash, which is a crying shame. Right now, we're going to be gathering a lot of food because even in the winter, we're going to be generating a fair old bit of it. It's going into winter now. Well, actually, that being said, maybe we won't. But uh, we should have enough stored by to be able to get through the winter without too much issue. Uh, right, we've gotten to 100. Thank you. We'll be getting uh, referendums shortly then. Uh, let's keep going. There we go. The happiness of your colonists in mind. I am certainly trying. One of your former colonies has suggested a trade opportunity. Uh, they'll send you rice in exchange for quinoa. Oh, that's actually fantastically good. I massively approve. Uh, right, we can need a lot of nanites for this one. Thankfully, we are actually generating the nanites at a reasonable clip right now, so I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, let's go ahead and set you up. Uh, right there, that's fine. We've got air filters on either side, so that should, generally speaking, be okay for us. Uh, right, and we do definitely need to set up some batteries because we need to get ourselves some lightning towers. That is actually a huge requirement now. So we're going to need 14 nanites to build our first battery, which is the requirement to even begin But I'll oh, see. Yeah, that's going to happen. Let's get that built. There we go. And now, hopefully, oh, we need 15 nanites, which we're almost there. There we are. Uh, where would be the best place for you? Uh, possibly somewhere like this would give me a very good coverage, but if... Uh, I don't think we, we need to worry about that one as much. Maybe one over there. And then another one somewhere about there behind the uh, the taxi tower. I think that would work out quite well for us. Uh, so we need another two, one. There we go. And let's get that one down. And we'll have decent enough coverage. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Nah. Yep, everything's fine. Right. So quinoa for rice. We'll, we'll make... You will always make uh, a decent amount from that. It's never that big of a problem. What I would like is to get some regular plants down now. Uh, right, so, with that being said, broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. You'd get 3.9 there. You'd get 3.7. You wouldn't get very much. 3.5, 4, 4.3. What about corn? 3.7 here, 4.3, but it would require the tiles that uh, I'd probably be uh, planting on, unfortunately, there. Uh, 3.1, 3.5, 3.9 down there. Uh, I think the best one we can go for is 3.7 here. Let's get that, that corn farm set up and running then. All right, we're almost at uh, capacity for housing, though. So it's time for us to upgrade our habitat. And we're trying to be fairly careful with our expansion in in this particular mission. And I think things are going reasonably well in regard to that goal. And we, of course, want this to be fully staffed all the time and upgraded as quickly as we can to its maximum level. There we go. 69% of the vote isn't great, I'll be honest. I think we can do a bit, bit better than that. A tiny bit better than that would be ideal. But uh, this is now generating 6.8 corn an hour. It's not bad at all. 100% irrigation, 1.4 water an hour. This one is generating 8.6 barley, 12 quinoa though. That's actually pretty good. Uh, that's going to be a difficult one to beat. In terms of quinoa, I could pop down... There's not many places that are going to beat that, honestly. Maybe something over there if we extended out our roads a little bit more. Uh, we'll see. There's not much room around here to grow anything. I think we will actually take this out just a little bit further, though. Uh, we have got an air quality alert. Is it over here? Ah, of course. Yes. Yes, it would be. Uh, right, let's have a look at you then. Yeah, the air quality there is dropping pretty hard. Can we afford an air filter? I wouldn't mind one. That being said, the... Um, building just here will decontaminate any plague spores trying to leave. 
It would result in anyone in here getting infected. Now, the question is, would they be able to get into a car before this had decontaminated them? And I think that's enough of a risk that I'm going to try and avoid having to deal with I'd it. I'd like to facilitate a trade arrangement. Uh, cool, sir. Well, I can probably arrange that. Uh, all right. We'll have a look at that one. All right. Toxic gas. Uh, of course, yeah. Quite close to the colony, that one. Okay, well, that's going to be a bit of a pain, especially because that is there. So, I think the best thing we could do is pop this down and set it to fan mode just to keep that uh, clear. Toxic gas emissions, that is fine. Trade vessel arrived. Everything else going reasonably well. All right, let's have a look at you then. We would like 150 coins here for 200 pass. That's actually quite nice. I don't mind that one at all. Ah, silly phone. But here's the feedback I've compiled from your Domino's system. trying to tempt me back. No, I've turned my back on you, Domino's. Scallywags. There we go. Um, why did I ever give them my phone number? Oh, that's right, because I have to if I want to order from them. Because my laziness has doomed me. Let this be a lesson to all of you. Don't be like me. Don't make the mistakes of being lazy. Just go and collect. Uh, right. Well, actually, that's going down in this direction. Mm, I could have a second one because eventually that would be useful. Just as a little, little extra bit of power, frankly. Sure, okay. We'll get that one built. Set that one to fan mode as well. There we go. We're going to use a bit of power, but it should prevent the worst of it, I think. Yes, yeah, it's... Ah, it's, oh, really? It's just managing to make it through. Wow, that's annoying. That is super duper annoying. Should have moved that one down a bit. Uh, I protected the, the majority of people, though, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, right, we are probably going to win this referendum. We've got 100% of jobs filled. Uh, we are almost at 100% of uh, available housing, though. Good news. So let's get your that upgraded. Happy with your performance. Thank you. Hopefully. Hopefully. Food is still a bit of a concern, though. Though, it's not actually that Well, we've only just entered winter, so maybe it is that terrible. Uh, let's have a look. I would like another greenhouse. And I think this one should be quinoa. 5.8, 6.2. Uh, we've got 5.8 there. Well, you know what? Yeah, we'll we'll pop it there and we'll go for the cash crop. Not that it's really making us cash so much as it's preventing my citizens from, from starving to death. So, uh, they don't even pay taxes. So, no, it's not a cash crop in any, any um, sense of the word. Right, okay, well the next step for me, I think, would be getting out here and possibly even tapping this potash deposit. There's also a few mining opportunities to the south. I could make a small little area down there and maybe even set up a, a Zorium generator, but I think for now I'd rather try and hook up to this area and that geotherm. Uh, these can go back onto normal mode for the time being. Mm, generate me a bit of spare power, which I would not say no to. But, yeah, we want to get a bit more iron. How much iron do we currently have? Uh, we're actually... We've got more more iron coming in right now than, uh, than we can process. So it's time to upgrade that, I think. And hopefully we will have a construction drone. Uh, a level one will do, I think, just to get us out a little bit further. And then we'll build a two closer to that position. Uh, this is still probably close enough that I don't need to worry too much about the the outpost, but I, I like that general design. So. Thank you. Boss. Thank you very much, in fact. All right. Okay. So we won 12 nanites and 37 corn. There we go. Uh, that, you know, not terribly bad. Let's go ahead and do we need an extra air filter? I would say yes. Let's go ahead and have one extra air filter. And we'll pop it on this side. Now, over here, we can hook up to both of these. And it's close enough again that I think a an air filter would be better because it's the more potent of the air scrubbing technologies. Uh, it's, it's much more efficient. Not necessarily in terms of the resources going into it over a regular air fan, but they are much more efficient in terms of space. Uh, like so, rather than population. building two things. 
Congratulations on winning the referendum. Get up to 200. That shouldn't be a problem. However, nanites are becoming the chore for us right now. I'll build an air filter about here. I'll build an additional outpost. Uh, yeah, we'll get an extra outpost. And we'll also get a taxi service as well. I think that would be a wise move. Let's get an outpost there. We want a hover car station or a taxi station, as I have come to call them. Right about there. And that should actually be all we need to make sure we uh, can have a geotherm and a mine here. Marvellous, I say. Marvellous. Okay, it's time for us to start recycling some of these buildings. We've got enough room to get rid of the storage buildings at the very least. Um, there's an oxygen regulator module. I don't think we need that, but what we do need is extra living space. So let's go ahead and get some more um, habitat up and running because we are definitely hitting the housing cap right now. There we are. And I don't think we need this here, nor do we need that. So let's get rid of you as well. There we go. That's made things a little bit better for us. Actually, at this point, we don't need the habitat module either. So let's get rid of you. And that clears up a fair bit of space for us, actually. We can pop down something that will generally improve people's mood in this area. Um, let's do away with this. Yeah, we don't need the solar module. Let's get rid of you. And in your place, we are going to place another bar and grill. Let's get that going up. This one is currently set as a bar. This one will be a bistro. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. And, oh, toxic gas emissions. This time quite far over in this direction. Um, that may reach our farms. And that is not something I strictly want to happen. Let's see which direction that's blowing in. Yeah, it's blowing down. Well, actually. Yeah, it's generally blowing down towards our farms. So what I'll do here is, once again, I'll have a single building set to fan mode for the time being. There we go. And that should protect there. Now, over here, that has been set to bistro mode. Is this set up? Yeah, they're, they're more or less set up. They'll, they'll get people working there um, as and when. But what I would really, really like is a retail center. Let's get some shopping going because I can only imagine that is going to really help people's moods. Yeah, there we go. And let's get that one fully upgraded as well. There we are. That should do us uh, no end of good, frankly. Now, over here, yeah, things are going okay. We haven't really started uh, tapping into the resources here, but perhaps we should. First, though, I think I'd actually like to go for a chemical plant or a mill. But before we can really do anything useful with that, we're going to need a research center. Now, where would be the best place for a research center? These do kind of pump out toxic fumes. I'm thinking if we start heading down in this direction, we can we can start placing them somewhere over there. Ooh, impending structural failure. That is never a good thing to see. Let's get that repaired. I would like the, uh, the policy to allow us to get drone auto repair, but we need a research center for that. So everything is really pointing towards research center as our next building. Uh, I could even fit her in there. I'd like to reserve that for the skyscraper, though, if I'm perfectly honest. I think I would prefer to have the research center a little ways down here instead. What we can do then is... Um, I'm fairly certain this is going to start belting out a bit of uh, unwanted um, contaminants, so we're going to want an extra air filter as well. So uh, let's just save up for that. Shouldn't take us too long. We're thankfully bringing in quite a lot of iron right now. And we can go for... Sure, we'll place this there because ultimately that will allow us to build out a road and connect this little block up and have an extra habitat there, for example. Which will be quite useful, I think. All right, we've gotten to the city, so we've gotten some extra nanites and pasta. I guess it, yep, 300. Uh, once again, one of the, the simplest and probably most impactful quality of life changes they could do is have all lightning tower messages compressed into one single message. Can we reach this yet? Not quite. We're not far off, though. We should be able to reach it if I continue to just run this straight up the middle there. 
we'll lose a little bit of arable land, but that's fine. I need a, a path through the middle anyway so that I can uh, branch out from it. But now that we have this, let's go ahead and set up the policy to have drone auto repair going on. Because we need, it, it, it's just going to be so much better. Our drones will maintain all of our buildings now, and that'll generally be a very nice thing. We do have enough people that I'm we're losing quite a lot of food, actually, uh, at winter time. So, time for us to consider some other options over here. Water, we're fine. We're, we're fine on water for quite some time, I would say. Uh, let's have a look at corn. 4.7, 4.1, 4.7 there. Um, no, sure, we'll get this one down. And we'll actually expand that up as far as we can, as quickly as we can. Make sure it's fully staffed, of course. And get you fully upgraded. There we go. And you will be bringing us in... Mm, seven corn an hour. That's not terrible. That's fine, in fact. And what are we getting from here? We're getting 6.8 corn an hour. That is enough for us to start making some corn syrup. Not the best thing in the world, but uh, certainly isn't the worst either. Uh, right. Now then, the the things that I want here. Xenoglow, Xenospice bread. Starglow, possibly. I'd need to start making groji. Uh, groji beans aren't terrible, I suppose. So, yeah, okay. And groji and calco. Calco sludge, starglow. You may notice the only things I'm not researching are <laughs> involve quarry. Just because. Uh, entirely bread as well. Uh, Bliss. No. Yeah, we'll go for Amber Joy. And Amaranthium. No. So we'll just leave it at that for now. Because I really don't like Quarry. It's, it's a horrible food. No one likes it. It just seems like a waste to me. Uh, what we will have over here, though, is a new uh, drone hub. And this will allow us to grab that. We will possibly have some issues with toxic um, gases coming in from over there, though. But for the time being, things look reasonably well. 97% of the housing has been filled, though. That's not a great thing, strictly speaking. And we're a little ways, and by little I mean very far, off being able to get the uh, skyscraper. So... Might be a way, uh, a long wait for that one. But I think at this point we need an extra nanite processor. That part is clear enough to me. And you know what, let's just pop it over there. Seems like a reasonable place to have one. There we go. We should start getting lots of nanites now. We're still actually hovering around the same sort of place, which is interesting. We need more storage, though. Always, always with the more storage. But thankfully, as these are completely automated facilities, we can just stack them off into the great distance and it's fine. Plague spores. Uh -huh. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Okay, should we actually give you a way in over here? That isn't going to uh, bother anyone? Um, possibly. You know what? Sure. Just a little ways in that should prevent you from being a pest to me. Let's get you there. And then get a small air intake fan just there. Just to attract those plague spots. Oh, no. They've already got their destination selected. Okay, let's move in and see how this works. It should work perfectly well. There we go. As they all try to get out, instant death. That's fine. Uh, this will prevent anything from coming from the top. Bottom. This one will prevent them from coming from the side as will this one so we should be okay generally speaking we're giving it plenty of reasonable targets to go for right we are 62 percent of the way to our uh, building goal and i would desperately like a chemical plant uh, 46 nanites it's a little ways off and by little ways i don't actually mean that it was actually very close uh right where would we like this one we want it somewhere reasonably close to population because it does have a, a fair amount of workers in there. There we go. And the first thing that we want you making is unfortunately corn syrup. So get to work on that. We could make some soda. A sugary, high-calorie drink, very unhealthy. Um, sugary, unhealthy, high-calorie food that can be manufactured in large quantities from corn and water. I, I mean... 
Maybe it's okay. If we build a hospital, perhaps it'll it'll balance out a little bit. We'll have to see. Have I set this up to where to be trading? Yes, I have. Good. Sure, okay. Let's actually get a, a hospital up and running. I want this space, though, for a um, skyscraper. So I guess the hospital is going to take this spot. Just over there. There we go. And that gives me uh, a little space for something else that I can place down. Let's have a look. Now, um, this does not connect to the colony. And colonists and electricity cannot pass through it. But these do. We can use them, uh, a small decorative structure that acts like a tunnel. Atrium slightly increase entertainment morale and slightly reduce the crowding morale penalty. Um, we, they don't actually need to go anywhere here. So I'm just going to build an obelisk outside just for, for prettiness sake. But we can totally start fancying up the areas just outside our buildings if we want to and i kind of do frankly let's go ahead and recycle these two let's go ahead i know i know i'm, I'm using it for for nothing particularly um good for our people straight away but come on it's gonna look lovely let's get these going there people are gonna love walking through there oh look at that just outside their house and it's beautiful and the skyscraper is going to be over there, so we probably want one here as well. Let's get rid of this one too. And we'll have another fountain, I'm thinking. Yeah, that, 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 that looks good. Over here, we will have... I mean, this is right outside the geotherm. Uh, sure, uh, that can work. Let's get those out of the way. But I want something... A crystal atrium, please. And a mini park. There we go. Right. Where was that? Oh dear, I totally didn't pay attention to that one, did I? Uh, my bad. I, I, I was distracted by beautification. I, 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 I say I shouldn't be held accountable for that one because, come on, everyone loves beautification. Get out there and quickly uh, fix it, though. In fact, I'm going to upgrade you to level 2 just to make sure that we can do it quickly before it gets too bad. There we are. Nice and sorted. Insufficient house power or housing? Uh, power. Let's get you upgraded then. You too. And you as well. That should solve our power problems completely. There we are. Marvellous. And I'm actually fairly uh, fairly happy with that. Oh, I'm going to be doing that everywhere. You do realise that... that oh, I've resisted for this long. I, I'm going to try and resist it even, even more. I can't keep doing that. <laughs> I'll forget what I'm doing in the mission and it'll take like four hours instead of two. Uh, right. Over here, though, I'm worried about crime. And I think it probably would be wise for me to get a station set up just to handle that for me. Over there, crime is being lowered. Lowered, not removed. And that worries me. Let's get an, uh, another place down here. I think that would be great. Uh, let's get that upgraded as well. All the way to level three. Perfect. Okay, there we are. Very, very nice. As you recall, the uh, yes, I know. Crack on then. It looks like that time is a Let's again. have a look. How are we doing with corn syrup? Summer in 90. I, I mean, it's going to make people happy, I think. Which we could do. Or it's going to be counted as an extra drink. Which also we could do. Either way, though. Go ahead and upgrade that. We need some native, uh, or rather, in their raw state, non-edibles. The first one I would like to build... Oh, okay. Melons do not grow well near your colony. Vanar has a surplus. Barley is in high demand. Oh. Okay, that sounds quite reasonable, actually. Uh, we'll set that up. But, first and foremost, uh, we want to set up the Calcospore production. Seven Calcospores. Because, again, that will eventually become Calco Sludge which will fund more and more nanites. We might not need that here because it's so much easy access to iron, but always worth having a, uh, a backup plan, if you like. Now then, we want a Xenosage. 10 Xenosage there? 11, 12 Xenosage there? Hmm. Yeah, go for it. Let's get that going. And we'll also upgrade this one as soon as we can, that is. Now... I'm going to say that these ones, mm, should we go, we'll give them a high priority, but not maximum. I don't think that's required. The water pump will get uh, maximum, though. Uh, because, again, these are not 
these are additional things that we're going to be growing with these. Uh, right, let's have a quick look. Xeno Glow. That's all we require is some Xeno Sage, so start production of that. Amber Joy. We can start production of that one as well. Alternatively, we can keep this one specifically for things that, uh, like the plague vaccine, nano medicines. Sure, okay, make some nano medicines, plague vaccine as well. This one will be for um, quote unquote essentials, things that uh, are not enhances effectively. Uh, we will need another chemical plant though. And let's get that one right down there. And hook you up along here. I'm thinking another air filter just to make sure everything is kept nice. Might be a good move. Alternatively, we could do this via another method. We could build out a little air filter over there, have a decontamination area here. Yeah, let's actually go for that, shall we? Excellent, I'm glad to hear it. We are going to need more drones, though. Okay. Well, we're building a fair chunk around here, so sure, let's go for a uh, high tier one. Also, we're probably edging outside of the range to um, keep the colony safe here. So, yeah, let's get a, another lightning tower down there. In order to build this out by one, we would like a decontamination there. And finally, a single air filter. Where are you? Uh, I have no idea where you are. I don't know what. Alright, there we go. Insufficient housing. Yeah, I know. We'll get there soon, though. We're bringing in 2.5 right now. So we need to import melons, and that's going to require barley for that one. Uh, yeah, barley. Okay, well, that's good, actually, because I want an extra food crop. Uh, however, let's actually have a look. How does barley do? Not terribly bad, actually. Yeah, sure. We'll go for a second tier barley setup right there. At this point, though, I'm worried that uh, a lot of our population is having to, to work out here. So let's make it another little colony area down here. Your Thank you. Seem happy with your performance, Very you glad to hear it. Good chance to win this referendum. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We'll need an air filter. Uh, we'll pop that one right there. And we'll also build this out just a wee bit. However, given that we're so far out in this direction, I think it would make sense for us to have some more um, recreational buildings. Let's actually have a look at people. Crowding is a bit of an issue. Food and entertainment, not very high. Consumption, not very high. We can immediately help that with a dispenser, I would say. Uh, let's pop this dispenser. I mean, sure, we could pop it in there. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, I put that in the wrong place. My bad. Let me get rid of you. And... Yeah, get rid of you, because otherwise the pattern's going to look really weird. Let's pop that one in there. Since you're done, will you, will you please? Thank you. And we want a park, I guess, right there. And then eventually we'll get the skyscraper in here. Right, the dispensary is handing out gold bloom. Marvellous. And what we want down here is for us to be making Amber Joy and Xenoglow. There we are. We're making soda, which I can only assume is being added to our uh, it's water in storage. Really? Is, it, is that all it considers? Hmm. Let me have a look. Let me open up the uh, cargo. Does it tell me anything? Morale? Will I get any information on this? Entertainment, food? Uh, maybe it just goes into food variety. That might be something that affects it. In terms of health, I think you're we've got no negatives, which is interesting. But here's the feedback I've compiled from your citizens. Also, I want to continue the beautification pattern around here. Uh, we've got a park there, so we'll have a park here. But we'll have an obelisk on this side. There we go. Womp. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Lovely, I tell you. Yeah, we'll get a skyscraper there. That's our next save. And there we go. It is ready. Let's get you down. That is going to make a massive difference to the colony. An absolutely huge difference to the colony. That should give us a lot of room to grow. 
Uh, we are going to need to expand a little bit more. Research is complete on Cerulean Glow. It's going to take a little while to get to that, though. Uh, we have the barley coming in. I would like that on a max priority because it is an immediately edible crop. And down here, we'll go ahead and start exporting the barley for the melons. Uh, we can export quinoa for 25 zorium if we really want to. Um, I think we're fine for now, though. Okay, that's good for me. And over here, the next crop I would like is probably going to be Antari. Since that's used in so many things. And I could get 11 right there. So, yeah, sure, let's go for that. Let's get you all set up. And pop this up to high. There we go. Have you got... Yeah, you're just getting people as and when. Uh, actually, let's make that high. Just because we don't want to run out of power. How close are we on power? We're actually getting close on power. That is a tad bit worrisome. This should be in normal mode. Alright, we're into the next couple of geotherms. They're just over there. We can easily make a, a, a beeline for them or... We can just bite the bullet and go for a Zorium generator early. And I think that might be worth it, honestly. We've got two Zorium mines there. And it would allow us to get up there to hit the iron deposit too. Congratulations Which would probably be quite nice. Victory, boss. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Okay, right. We've, we're up to 91% complete on that. That is actually really good. Alright, I think it is high time we start building out in this direction. And you know what? I also feel that a plasma turret or two in the directions that I know enemies are likely to approach wouldn't be a bad use of my nanites. Let's get two of them just over on that side. Oh, and almost two uh, on queue. There we go. Uh, we'll get one just tucked behind. Ooh, we'll probably want a lightning tower there, actually. Uh, it's not strictly bad to have the plasma turrets there, though. And another one there, perhaps. And finally, we'll get another lightning tower as well. Oh, actually, this one eh, almost reaches. We can probably get a, an extra lightning tower just by here. Just to future-proof this area. You don't really need them to overlap like that. For example, that level of overlapping is more than adequate. I may move that one in time, but I didn't want that one to be taken out because it costs quite a lot to build. Uh, okay, well, that was not bad, actually. We managed to uh, take out the incoming spores quite handily. However, we are going to need protection from these plague spores over here. And we can go ahead and pop this one down there, I think, without too much trouble. Let's get that built out. All right, so now do we have... Yeah, we've got the extra intake fans. That should be okay. Have we got anything coming from that direction? No. Anything coming from that direction? No. And nothing from that direction. Okay, well, that's actually not too bad. Uh, trade vessel has arrived. We're doing fairly well. Insufficient power. There we go. Knew that was going to creep up on us. Okay, well, one thing that I, I'm thinking of doing here, then, is toxic gas emissions. That's fine. We're going to build a little bank of uh, batteries and solar. Just a little one, just over here. Uh, we can also upgrade this one to its maximum level. Let's get these going. Uh, that should all be taken out fairly quickly. There we go. We'll upgrade this one too. There we are. We're producing a fine amount of, of solar. Now, the only thing is, solar in winter, not a very good source of power. So, let's continue building. I wish there was a blueprint mode, because I build these in a very specific pattern. Okay. Okay. Thank you. To I'll take the rice, please. Uh, okay, the following was added to your colony's inventory as a reward for completing a zealous insurrection mission. Create 100 buildings. There we are. Minerals exhausted. Ah, alas. Twas time, I suppose. Right, you can go and you can be turned into something more useful for me. I need your help to balance our supplies on the colony ship. A plague spore microbe made it into the colony ship. Oh no, we've initiated a quarantine and doubled our air infiltration, but a bit of plague vaccine from you would go a long way toward helping us nail this epidemic more quickly. Very well. Oh, drat. Uh, okay, well, we need to be making plague vaccine then. Oh, we've already got some. Good, 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 good. Let's uh, make sure we're sending it up then. 
Here you go, not a pro- 300 nanites? My lord. That'd be fantastic. Uh, from this direction, really? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to continue building my little project, though. Uh, let's get an extra one of these. Now then, water is becoming an issue. We have grown a lot, and we haven't really helped our uh, water out for a long time. We got any of these? Well, we got a couple of 70s, an 80 over there, but that isn't strictly necessary. Got an 80 there. Uh, okay, we'll pop another water pump just here, and that should be fine. There we go. Right there. Should be okay for us. That uh, should handle things um, satisfactorily. We are running low on storage, though, which is a bit of a crime, frankly. Yeah, they should be cleaned out very quickly. There we are. That that system is so effective. So ridiculously effective. Right, let's make sure this is fully upgraded. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to do too much with everything coming in. Uh, we've got our cannons trying to take out some of the spores. Uh, some of the um, falling shards. You know what? Two in here wouldn't go in this. One there, one there. Just to help out with the uh, falling ice shards. How are we doing for power? We're actually low on power. Okay, let's uh, turn on our batteries. Uh, where's the battery? There we go. Open the control panel and activate battery power. There we are. Perfect. And we'll top this up with a little bit more power from these. They're not supplying much electricity at all. But thankfully, the uh, frequent lightning strikes will keep our batteries topped up. So, there we go. That little cluster there, that's a perfect little thing. If I was playing Supreme Commander, I would totally blueprint that right now. Uh, the Epidemic Mission, Export 200 Plague Vaccine. There we go. Hey, do me a favor. Let's not tell Vori about this. Okay. okay. We have a surplus of service robots on our hands. Please build a retail center if you don't have one, and then import 180 service ro robots. Oh, okay. Boss, the objective I'm about to give you is critical for the survival of your colony. Okay. If we're not careful, they could unite and drive us out. Please defend the colony with seven plasma turrets. Or Will do. Authorized me to give you a special mission objective. Very well. Uh, I think we should research energy shields, Zorian bombs. Yeah, we we'll probably do need a second tier research area and start getting all of the things. Uh, we're going to avoid any of the uh, big fights for now then until we've got all of that upgraded. Battery mode deactivated because we no longer need it. That's fine. Okay, well, um, generally speaking, we're doing okay. Got plenty of protection there. A little bit of protection over here wouldn't go amiss. We'll just dot them around to make sure there's coverage. One there. That one is gonna cover... Oh, I'll pop another one down here, I suppose. There we go. I mean, they don't need to be on the, the paths, but we've got so much empty room anyway. Okay, so there we go. We've, we've actually completed quite a lot of the uh, requirements. Now, we've got a few things coming in that we can start using. Uh, we could make... Uh, can we not? We seem to have everything we need for Cerulean Glow. There we go. Um, oh, right. We just had zero of it. Okay. Groji and Calco. So Groji is the next thing. Honestly, a little bit more Xenos uh, Xenosage would probably be quite useful to us right now. So let's go ahead and address that one. And there will give me 9.2 up here a lot more. Yeah, let's pop it there. And take this all the way up. Because eventually we'll want to hook up to those over there. We are going to need some additional protection up there, but it's not strictly necessary right now. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more population there, though, frankly. There we go. Uh, right, rewards well available. Done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. Thank you very you much. One of the following resources. I would like some more nanites, please. All right, got a new mission for you. Okay. You to advocate the use of force, but in this case, it's clearly necessary. Very well. And we'll get victory with this. Wow, this mission really wasn't as long as I was expecting it to be. Either that, or we just made fantastic progress. 
Uh, either way, I'm pretty happy with that. We need a lot more living space, though. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, do we need more homes. Uh, okay. Well. Wouldn't mind having some more over here, frankly. So let's go for a uh, triple upgraded right now, and then we'll replace all of these roads in time. Uh, we can pop something nice in there, though. What would be nice to go there, I wonder? We could have... Mm, could just have an extra bar and grill. Alternatively, is there anything we need here? Is there high crime? No, there's, there's really not. Uh, okay. The dispensary is minus five health, minus twenty five percent crime, plus eight percent substance morale. Um, what's the lower of food and entertainment? Food. Okay, a bistro it is then. You're gonna have multiple dining options. It's gonna be grand. There you go, bistro. It up, please. Plague infection. Let's make sure it's gone to the right place. Yes, it has. Marvelous. Uh, okay. We will get that going right away. Right away. Uh, let's actually upgrade this one. I'd like that one fully upgraded if you can get it. Uh, probably the same here just to increase the speed with which we can mine everything. Okay, well, we need an expedition center. Maybe even two. Uh, this one by itself should be fine. And actually, I'm going to build it quite high up here. And I'm going to pop that down. Oh, hello. Hello, and please be gone. No, naughty. Uh, can we build up there? No, we cannot. So we're going to want, probably for the amount of things we're going to be building here, level two. I think uh, will be easily what we require. Uh, that is unfortunate, but okay. We're not even out of... Uh... Yeah, we're, we're not... Oh, oh, what? You lie. Oh, it's because it hasn't been hooked up. Right, right. My bad. My bad. Uh, we are actually now out of power, though, I would say. We're going to need to get this sorted up. Guardian detected. Sensors have detected an approaching Guardian robot. This sentient, auto, uh, sorry, ancient automaton crafted by the former inhabitants of Avian Prime apparently became aware of our activities, discovered the colony, and triggered an automated attack pattern. It should be vulnerable to plasma turrets. Oh my lord. Oh, this is brand new. I've never not seen any. Can I can I zoom out? My, oh, it's walking up there, perhaps. Where is it? I see it not. I have no idea where that went or if we we won against it. I'm hoping we did. Uh, let's build this out. We are gonna need protection up here. Let's go ahead and pop that down there. We're gonna need mines and oh. Oh, so many um, air filters up in this area. Scared. Mm, we'll get a one. No, it's going to need to be more than that. It will absolutely need to be more than that. We're also going to need to have 10 Zorium before we can build this. Let's get that going quickly. We are low on power. There we go. Zorium generator, please. And then immediately after that, we're going to need a... Uh, Level 3 air filter because these things belt out the pollution. There we are. Let's get this going. Because winter is here. And it's not good times. Incoming shard storm. Let me turn on the batteries. There we go. And some extra defense turrets up here wouldn't go in this. There we go. Perfect. And straight away upgrade that. Okay, I think we should be okay. However, we are starting to lose our minds, which is a big worry. We've got to 300, that's fine. Battery mode is deactivated because we no longer need it. Here's your next population growth. And we've got to get to the 400, that is fine. Right, how are we doing here? The structure may not be recycled. Uh, we want this fully staffed because we want it to be running at 100% efficiency. How are we doing on the research? Shielding is going up. Okay, well, for the time being then, let's go and have a look at some of the basics. Where we things. can send our first expedition vessel. Okay. Make sure you keep your expedition ships well staffed. And send Looks Indeed. like someone could use our assistance. Better send the team out there. Uh, we need to bring them 30 food and water. We can do that. And that's more important than us getting extra stuff, frankly. 
Uh, we can analyze the dead sandworm, and then we can go and recover all of these items. But we've got lots of places that we need to deal with. Oh, okay. Well, time to let our expedition vessel go and do its stuff. Okay, well, the paladin just got back from its trip. Now the zealot... Oh, my lord. Combat rating 50. And 14 members. The Setdari's Flaming Dagger. Oh, okay. Uh, what about the others? Are they, they use it? 12 members. What about down here? 11. Uh, 11. Okay, these are going to be difficult fights, frankly. We are going to have a bit of a struggle. Alright, okay, well, let's have a look. Where are we in terms of our research right now? We are... Uh, we haven't got the Zorian bombs yet. Okay, I think we're going to need to go for that before we can do anything else. You know what? Let me make sure that you're getting a lion's share of the population for the time being. And on that note, how is the population doing? Yeah, generally fairly happy, actually. Uh, crime is a bit of an issue, and air quality is going down. Some things that we can try and fix, I guess. Uh, generally, crime seems okay in that area. Oh, down here. Despite having a drone, it is still quite bad. Okay, let's set that up then in that case. Uh, we should be seeing... Uh, uh, Nanite income has gone down a lot, unfortunately. Uh, Calco sludge not being made particularly fast. No, indeed it is not. Uh, well, given that, we don't need any more of these at all. So we'll, we'll disable those. And honestly, I'm going to say we don't really need any more corn syrup for that matter either. Though it does mean that we get quite a lot of food. We'll turn it off for now. We'll continue turning it into soda, but also Calco sludge as well how many people are working here not enough let's make sure that we've got a fair amount of workers in these locations because we definitely need the calco sludge to be able to make those nanites uh alternatively we could instead focus on hooking up to new mines and that may well be the better option for us so let's go ahead oh dread is it because we're out of nanites no worst result okay well pop that there I'm thinking we probably want to actually get some sort of um, uh, population over here. Because we are actually starting to get quite far out there now. Uh, what we can do is wait a little bit, get an extra outpost. We're going to need an air filter, so we'll pop an air filter down here, for example. Uh, we've got... Have we got a decent air filter over on this side? Not particularly. I mean, I've triple upgraded that just because we were having so much pollutant being created by the uh, Zorium generator that it made sense. Uh, go ahead then, we'll pop you there and we'll get a, an air filter. We'll pop down an, a level 2 air filter Good because news. it might actually be necessary in and this I location. This We've got plenty of uh, cannons in most locations so it's surprising that that even managed to get in but it probably only one of maybe two spores or three spores even. Uh, toxic gas emissions. Let's find out where they're coming from. Uh, not actually that far away. We could try and resolve that with a wind turbine. And sure, let's let's go ahead and build a wind turbine. Set that one up to blow. There we go. Fan mode, please. Just get rid of that. And same for you. Both of those switch over to fan mode for the time being. Uh, right, now then, it's going to take us quite a while to get that. So maybe we should go for the mine first and then build the uh, the air filter next. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear it, honestly. Very glad. And we are, unfortunately, out of storage. That is a problem that is not going to go away easily. So let's head in there and get rid of anything that we don't particularly need. We've got so much amber dry. Wow. Uh, let's get rid of a bunch of Antari. Drop that down to about 1,500. Calco spores as well. Get that down to 2,000. Um, we don't need the plague vaccine we've got, but uh, we need more Xenosage, basically, is what we need. But that should give us enough room to get in the nanites we need to set this up. I would like to go for a second tier one if we can. So let's try and make that happen, shall we? There good we go. Your citizens seem happy with your performance. Marvelous. You have a good chance I'm extremely pleased. We could hit this um, potash deposit. It might be wise. 
Uh, let's make sure these are all set to... Yeah, there we are. They're good. Okay, the next of the inedible would be Groji. And if we pop that there, we'll get an 11. Same there. Uh, we could get 10 down there. Uh, 11 over here wouldn't be too bad, actually. Sure, let's get that going. We'll just try and use the most of the uh, land around this area that we can. I'm sure you're getting a decent amount of the population. I think another outpost probably wouldn't go amiss over here as well. We're going to need some entertainment buildings down here soon too. How about... Sure, let's let's get a, a bar. The very least we can give them is a bar. Somewhere that they can just chill out of an evening after a hard day's graft in the hydroponics phase. Uh, we want another two nanites. There we go. We'll get one over there as well to help out those people. Excellent. Referendum has been won. Right, where's this terrible air quality? Really? Really? Oh, that's bad. That is extremely bad. I am so sorry, everyone. Uh, that's, well, it's going to be a little while before we can get better um, air quality there. Unfortunately, I do want to have a, at least a basic air filter. Let's get you up. Come on. There we go. This should help. Oh, wow. I really I really dropped the ball there. My bad, everyone. Super bad of me. In fact, let's try and upgrade that one because we're going to need to clean out all of that mess. Yikes. Right. On the plus side, though, uh, we've reached population of 400. That's good. But even in summer right now, we are not bringing in that much food. That is exceedingly worrisome. How are we doing for research right now? Medical Bay is the only thing, and we're actually fairly close to getting that. Uh, all right, let's have a look at planting down some more greenhouses. And I'm, I'm afraid it's going to have to be quinoa here, because we need the uh, the the food more than we need the variety. I guess that will do. Well, that's fine. We'll build that up. There we go. We have got a couple of um, taxi towers around here. Do we have adequate lightning protection? We probably do, in which case let's get some more um, spore protection then in that case. And these two can be turned back to normal mode as well. There we are. Air quality should be starting to improve, I'm hoping. Incoming Shardstorm. Uh, Expedition Tech, fantastic. Right, research is for all intents and purposes now complete like you to increase the colony's population very well i will do my best right this place no longer needs to be particularly uh high priority we're going to set it up to low priority from now on there's not a lot we need um i will go ahead and research these just so i've got you guys doing something but once we've got all of that i can probably just leave that on low priority i don't think i can ever take it away though because we actually do need um the access to that building for a couple of buildings that we were using. However, we can now, hopefully, go out and start hitting the settlements. Now, I'm fairly certain it's going to um, not work exceedingly well for us, honestly. Um, I think we may need a second one because we're probably going to have to run these in tandem as they're going to get messed up in the fights. Those are big fights and it's going to take us a lot of time to break through them, I fancy. Right. Paladin made a discovery. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. A new point of interesting has been discovered. A landing site, very well. Uh, and another one, a supply drop. Extremely good. Another one landing site, another landing site. And a dead sandworm, all right. Uh, the air quality, oh. Oh, down here is bad. That surprised me. Very well, let's uh, get this fully upgraded then. And again. And also upgrade this one to a level two at least. There we go. Right. Paladin Victorious. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the crew also recovered 43 nanites and 47 ration packs. Uh, you also earned one commendation. I'm actually fairly impressed. Um, okay. The Paladin crew reports that they swiftly overcame the Zealot group. The few surviving Zealots have been left in an inflatable detention pod to a pickup by the colony ship, followed by intensive de-radicalization. That went a lot better than I was expecting, I'll be honest with you. Excellent, go ahead. Lightning tower hit, good. We've got a couple of places down there then. Uh, air quality is still kind of bad. 
Yeah, we're going to need to to work on that a bit. Hopefully, it'll start improving around here. If not, I could always do the drastic um, act of building this right there. And that might be worth it, actually. Uh, we can upgrade it, and it'll directly impact this. Uh, the only thing with that is that they're not exactly going to have the best of luck getting to that job. But they won't mind going through one building. It shouldn't be a huge issue. Yeah, that's actually directly improving things now. Let's head on out. Pardon. Let's get over there, please. Go ahead. Pardon is just doing really well. And he's discovering loads of stuff along the way. Oh, hello. You'll probably be uh, dissuaded from any shenanigans by all of the plasma turrets attacking you. Right, let's have a look at our population. Ooh. Paladin crew hurt. The Paladin reached its destination, but it suffered a setback. The Zealots clearly outmatched the crew and forced them to evacuate after a pitched battle. Radio comms indicate that the crew suffered deaths. One, two, three, four, five, and six. As well as injuries. Seven, eight, nine. Wow, the ex expedition vessel also took damage and reduced 83% integrity. Ouch. Okay, they're heading back. Uh, right, well, I think it's fair to say we could do with a second. So let's go ahead and build another expedition center right about there. I actually hooked that up like so. There we go. And this should allow us to get a second crew straight out there. This one's fully staffed, good. As is this one now. There we are. And hopefully, there we go, perfect. Right, we've got a lot of places for us to uh, investigate now. I can send out one of these landing sites. Uh, what do they require? 49, uh, Wow, so many of them. They actually require a lot. Okay, right. Trailblazer, I'd like you to hit this. All right. This. This definitely warrants invest. Looks like someone could use our assistance. And help this than the person as soon as we can before hitting this and then finally that group over there now how well they've got eight members left and their combat strength has taken a dip of 11 points which is fine by me in every other way the colony seems to be doing okay we're, we're starting to recover our food situation though it got a little bit a little bit risky there honestly uh i think i would rather that be moved down if we can just pop that one there and then we can run a road up. We might just have a regular farm here, for example. Should be fine. Another mine exhausted. Oh, that is quite the shame. Okay, we're back down to not getting very many uh, resources then. Uh, okay, reach its destination. Uh, I've earned one accommodation. Before the vessel was repaired and it's been set on autopilot to return to the orbital colony. That's grand. Uh, loaded into the cargo hold and will be added to the colony upon the vessel return. If an empty artifact contains it, is available. It will require analysis at the research center for more. Ooh. Now that is quite interesting. Okay. Let's get ourselves an artifact chamber then. We'll pop it right by there. Explosive detected. Everything seems to generally be going okay. And the paladin is now ready for another mission. So let's send the paladin out. And we'll hit this one. And it looks like we're just going to be back and forthing for a little while. Whilst we wipe out the enemy. Okay. Artifact acquired. It is time, I think, for us to research this thing. Uh, let's see. We've got low priority in here at the moment. Which is fine, I suppose. Uh, let's turn all of these off. Don't need them research right now. I would like to find out what this artifact is. This is an advanced artifact from the species that once inhabited Avon Prime. After your scientists discover its secrets, you'll be able to activate it through the Powers and Policies panel. Very well. I guess I'm going to give you normal priority for now then. Uh, go ahead and enjoy your research. Now we've expanded out a little bit more. We've hit up these two geotherms just over here. How many? Uh, how much Zorium do I have at the moment? Because we are generally low on power. Oh, actually, I've got quite a lot. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe we should. Let's get another Zorium generator. We, we probably shouldn't do this. but there. Ah, definitely not there, though. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Oh, very, very almost made a silly. Uh, right. Well, let's pop it just up here, then, in that case. And get ourselves 
a very high level um, air filter. We're going to need a lot of filtering up here. My lord. Two fully upgraded Zorium generators. Right. Paladin is idle. Okay. Right. Time for us to head back out. We just came back after hitting the, well, two of the remaining locations. Unfortunately, they did put up quite a bit of a fight. Uh, let's see. 35 members are there. And 31 members there. Okay, Paladin. Um, let's see. Go ahead and analyze this. Analyze that one. Hit this recovery point. Then right. analyze this. Definitely and warrants finally hit that. As a trailblazer, I would like you like to help out these explorers. Than the team actually. Out there. Oh, well, I've done it now. So, me as well. Like someone could use our I'm not sure what this is. We'll Looks find like out. Don't you help. worry. You better get out there and grab all of those and then hit this point this way we'll also have the better chance of discovering new locations because odds are we're gonna have to find a couple more because we've only hit 57 percent of the uh, zealots <laughs> we need quite a lot more than that actually however we do need to import some robots as well so how about we go ahead and finally give in to that one then eh uh import robots there we've got quinoa for zorium only one stone um no we want the service robot so we've got to think you're on track to win this thank you but uh we've got to import 160 so we need to send out only 45 nanites so that shouldn't be a problem for us at all but that will greatly improve the uh happiness of our colonists because they'll get Glorious, glorious service robots to do their bidding, carry their, their shopping, that kind of thing. All the, all the menial tasks that humans are just too good for. If you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. Flubby meat bags. Okay. Trailblazer is heading back after the second attempt at this particular location and has failed once again. This is Looks a like resupply. What do you need? 30 food and water. Allow them. Yeah, actually, that wouldn't be too bad. What about you? You need 40 nanites, 80 water. Uh, we can do it, I think. Go ahead, Paladin. Go ahead and resupply both of these locations. And then head on down to hit this location here. We've, we've earned 20 commendations so far. That's actually pretty pretty impressive. We could head along that route. Mm, yeah, I think that, that should be fine for now. Got two Zorium generators. That's producing an awful, awful lot of... Uh, um, power for us uh, we're up to 2.2k we could afford to pop in one or possibly even two new um habitats i think over there also i'd like you to start producing oh actually we've got loads of calcus lunch what am i talking about uh is it just that we're not yeah we're not getting through the calcus lunch particularly fast okay we can fix that we're only 22 nanites to do it but we can do that i think Explores and toxic clouds. Generally, these things are not something that we need to worry about at all. Uh, we have almost brought in all the service robots we need. Uh, Amber Joy production halted. Uh, Paladin out of supplies. Oh. Uh, okay. Did not have the 80 food, 80 water, and 40 nanites. Ah, no, of course not. Uh, oops. Oopsie. My bad. My super bad. Uh, but we've, we're finding a couple of other things along the ways. Yeah, probably high time for us to get another one of these up and running. I don't worry. Oh, actually, it's going to get into the colony through there. Well, drat. Should have paid attention to it, I guess. Uh, the infantry is reward. Import 180 service robots and the 7 nights 21 corn. I don't think we need to do any more of that, though. Let's shut that one down. Thank you. It was It was great and all, but no. Uh, we've got quite a few service robots, though, to continue trading, which is good. All right, where are you? You're coming in on this side. Do we... Ooh, we no longer have scrubber coverage at this location. So let's uh, get that set up, shall we? Probably wise. Paladin is idle. Let's go and have a look at the Paladin then. Wow, really? You managed it? Well done, Paladin. My lord. Go ahead and confront this ship. Um, support 110, support building efficiency. Um, I, I thought for a moment there, maybe the crew just got better at their jobs, but no, it doesn't look like it. It looks like they, uh, they just, um, have a better support setup. Then, I'm not sure what this, this is, one. but we should definitely take then a closer look. Then find out about that. There we go. 
All right, let's make sure we've got plenty of artifact chambers as well. We want a couple. Now, have we finished the research on that? I believe we... No, we haven't. Wow, okay. I'm actually quite surprised at that. Okay, we will have it soon, though. Let's have a look. There we go. Research complete. Automated structure, no workers. Power on, using two electricity. Holding charge, artifact inactive. Can we find out about that artifact? Ooh. Hello. Vori, you there? Yeah, I'm here, Jack. What you got for me? Hold on. Let me loop in the team. You're not going to believe this. Okay. Hey, Landry, you on? I'm here, Jack. Euros. I am here as well. Good. I've looped in the High Commander as well. Thank you. So I've decoded the fourth chapter. Remember that alien race that sent the warning to the shapeshifter people that they were all going to die? The Builders. Right. Get this. A couple of weeks before the supposed supernova, they showed up in their mothership. Oh. And they said the whole thing about the extinction event was all just a big put on. You've got to a be hoax, kidding me. Really? Seriously? So all of that, and there was no supernova after all. I just wanted all. to see how they reacted, Oh, I guess. hey, guess what, everybody? It was all a big joke. Sorry about those millions of people who died in your civil war. I mean, what a crock of shit. Yeah. So it turns out, that's like an interstellar initiation ritual for advanced civilizations. Ah. It's like a test. See, once a civilization gets advanced enough that it might finally be worthy of joining the club, so to speak, right. they tell them they're all going to die and they have to fit their final words into a paperback novel. And that process is really ugly and starts a lot of wars. But it forces them to figure out who they are as a society. Uh, it see. makes them come together and figure out what's important and what's not. Sort of the way hmm. before we got on the Avon Prime expedition. We had to get all our luggage under 38 kilograms. And a lot of species don't make it. Unbelievable. They mm. must have been pissed. They were probably happy. I mean, they just found out they actually weren't going to die a horrible death. There is you're that not going to argue with silver lining and mothership floating overhead anyway. Hmm, good point. So what happened after that? Or do we have to wait another chapter to find out? Sounds like they left the planet. Once the mothership showed up, they learned how to make ships of their own. And they didn't have that crazy death cult around to hold them back anymore. So that explains that Sedardari guy and what it meant when they said they left him here until he could join them again. So that means he might still be here. Uh -huh. Bingo! Maybe, maybe not. I'm hoping we'll figure that out with Chapter 5. Oh, great. So we might be sharing the planet with a crazy mass-murdering alien shapeshifter from an evil death cult. Who may or may not be Calandra. That Calandra's. just makes my day. Makes you think, doesn't it? Uh, there's one more thing. There's another artifact in an area known as Eden Crater. I'm not sure what it is, but it's clear that this is a more valuable object. Does it have something to do with that Sedadari character? I don't think so. Okay. We'll have the High Commander start a new colony in that location so we can Hooray! recover the object. Eden Crater. Sounds peaceful. No, it isn't. It's actually in one of the harshest locations on the surface. Get ready, High Commander. <sighs> this is going to be your toughest mission yet. Once again, the whole thing of the nicer a place's name is, the worse of a place it is to live. That, that... I'm not one into whole superstition or anything like that. I, I, I generally feel you, you, you create your own luck, your own... You create the atmosphere around yourself. If you expect it to be bad, it's going to be bad. But really, so many times in my life, that, that rule of thumb has proven to be true. My goodness, I once lived in a place called Blue Bellevue. <laughs> not a good place. Not a good place. Probably one of the worst places I've ever lived in. I've lived in some bad places. Oh, man. Okay, well, in the next episode, then, we're off to Eden Crater. We didn't actually find out what that, that resource was. Damn it. I want to know what it does. Let's have to find out. Um, it's active. It's effects will be felt in the colony. But what does it do? I need to know. Uh, well, actually, if I open up the control panel, it'll probably tell me. Let me have a look. Oh. Use charge artifacts to fully charge all energy batteries in the car. Oh, well, that. I mean, if you if you had a colony that was mostly batteries, maybe that would be super useful. But no. At any rate, fairly happy with that one. Did take me almost two hours to play through a little bit last time than I was actually expecting. I'll be perfectly honest. I was expecting this one to be a long while. 
but no, that one that one turned out okay. Claim victory. Uh, our score started rocketing up towards the end. Uh, I imagine that's where we started to hit the, or at least around here, when we started to do all the commendations and generally explore the planet. Uh, let's see. Um, resources, let's have a look at that. Oh, I'd have to select this. Never mind. Uh, what I would like to look at is total colonists. Yeah, pretty steady growth the whole way through. Jobs filled. Actually, it was tending downwards towards the end. Happiness. Pretty, pretty normal. Fed and hydrated. Housing capacity. There may have been when I built my first skyscraper. Uh, housing filled. Yeah, generally, things were okay. Health was okay for the most of it, actually. Total food. <laughs> okay, it started to recover a lot better towards the end there. You can see the, the summer and winter peaks. We were never really in that much trouble, but for the population that we had, we were tending downwards around there. So we did need to uh, f sort that out. What about food quality? Eh, kind of all right the, the whole way. Oh, wow, we had a big dip in water around here. Must have been for a while I didn't build any new water pumps and let it really sink down. But after that, we, we really got it back on track. What we're colonists? No, it's fine. Anything else? Unhappy colonist. A little bit of a peek there. That should be okay. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Only one more episode remains where we will be going to check out Eden Crater. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode today, though. And we'll be looking forward to the continuation and the completion of this series in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.